Hello everyone, Vega Vibes here. So I figure uh, since I'm off work for the next six to eight weeks, I'll come in here and uh, do a little bit of a uh, review. Well, I did a review on the car already, but there are many, many things that I missed. So I figure I, uh, I'll explain some of it. Like for example, the the oil catch can that I put in here, there are, there are two of them, and um, the reason for that is because, you know, the, the the car when during the break in miles, it ran great for the first I don't know 50, 60 miles, and then after that I started getting all kinds of bucking and and misfiring and and it just wouldn't run right. But I drove it like that anyway. And come to find out, you know, the misfire got so bad that I couldn't drive it. And, and I started to remove the spark plugs on this side. And uh, the spark plugs were all fouled out. They, they had oil, like a, a coating of oil on them. And so I tried to figure out where's that oil coming from. I said, is, is this engine ruined? But anyway. Long story short, it turned out to be the PCV valve. All right, was connected directly to the to the intake manifold, and and it was sucking up a lot of oil from the valve cover on this side, and it it, it was enough to to start causing problems. And I couldn't figure out why it would do that if that's a factory design, you know, manufactured. Anyway, so. I figured that was a problem. I changed the spark plugs. I cleaned out the cylinders as much as I can. I, as a matter of fact, if you look inside the cylinders, you can see oil deposits in there. It was, it was really bad for, you know, a rebuilt engine. And so I went online and I wanted something small. And I, I got this tiny one here. It was like $10. And that has a little filter in it. And they called it on Amazon a oil separator. So I figured that's enough. So I added this oil separator. And it comes with that see-through uh, uh, canister underneath. So you can see the amount of oil that's in there. And so I used that. And then I realized that it only needed 30 miles to fill up. And so I found myself, every time I drove the car emptying that out and it does have a little valve under it but you press on it and it just drips out so I have to keep removing it unscrewing the whole the whole uh, plastic jar there to get it out so every 30 miles I couldn't do it so I said let me order a new one so I went on Amazon again and I picked up this one and you notice there's <laughs> that one's still on there because this one here has a dipstick where you can see how much oil in it is in here, but it's black. So you can't really tell where the oil line is, right? So I left that one in place, this one here. So now when this one fills up, it transfers over to this one. And then I watch that bottle. When that bottle gets half full, I know that this one is completely full. And I need to open this up, empty this out, and empty that out. So now I get maybe 100 miles out of it, maybe. But still, I, I can't understand why, why so much oil is going through there. If everything is, 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 is done as they would do it at the manufacturer, right? It has this one here that's connected to the air filter. So the only thing that I can think of is that because I have a hood scoop and this filter, this air filter sticks out, I think when I'm driving, all the wind is blowing in here, right? And it's, it's going at a pretty good high rate. So I am thinking, I'm not sure, but I am thinking this is where the problem is. I feel like... I feel like this here, all right, uh, you gotta excuse me folks, I'm working with one hand here. 
you guys remember I got into a little bit of a oh, little bit of an accident and broke my arm. So that's why I'm gonna be off work for six to eight weeks. Right, here's a good spot for it. All right, so I'm thinking that that hose that's connected in there is connected, it goes into here. So I'm thinking that it's putting a lot of pressure in here and, and pushing down. And in doing so, it's, it's making it go through the uh, crankcase and, and helping or pushing oil through the PCV valve. It's the only thing I can think of. I mean, why would it be so much, right? You know, in the 273, it had the same setup, and I didn't have that problem where it would foul out my plugs. But anyway, so I'm thinking of putting some sort of restrictor on here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to put something on here to, to, to minimize the amount of air that it's that's pushing through there, just to see if it'll get any better. Anyway, uh, I think that'll do it for this video. Oh, also, I... I can't start the car, so I can't drive it. I need to change the oil out because lately I've been having, I don't know if you guys remember, but I took it for a drive and it was giving me a hard time to start. It's never done that before. So I'm thinking that it was something to do with the, with the temperature and maybe the, you know, the fuel boiling over, but you know, it's an aluminum intake. It has a one inch spacer on there. You know, it, I don't think it's getting hot. I don't think that's the problem. I think that maybe the needle and seat, the seal that's on there, is is dry rotted and cracked, and it probably shrunk a little because I tried it, and um, it was a cooler day, and I just let it come up to temperature and I shut it off, and when I went to start it, it wouldn't start, so it did the same thing. So and and when I looked over the top of the primary, I noticed it was all wet there. And I also noticed that when I shut the car off, this would be at around five pounds. And immediately when I shut the car off, you can see the, the, the needle drop to zero. Where's that fuel going? If I'm flooding, then it must be flooding the engine, right? I, I don't think that it's going back into the tank. I think it's dumping it into my intake. So I ordered a kit from Holly and I'm waiting for that to come in. And I'm going to attempt to go ahead and uh, rebuild this front part of the, uh, the primary here. And, um, and hope that that works. So stay tuned for that video. That's coming soon. Uh, there are other things that I need to do here now that I have plenty of time. Yeah, one being I need to straighten out this garage. Look at this place. I need to start putting all this stuff away. I'm not going to use it anymore. This was all part of me, you know, putting together this, uh, this 340. So I need to clean out this garage and make it so it's a lot neater. Anyway, folks, that's my video for today. I hope it wasn't too boring. Uh, I know it's not exciting, but I can only do so much with, uh, <laughs> with this handicap of mine so we'll see you soon bye